Hello guys, welcome to another video of Senator Biran Ads. In this video, we are going to discuss about what are the jobs in digital marketing in Dubai, what are the expected salaries in digital marketing in Dubai. If you are already subscribed, you know that we discussed in the community about this video and I also asked you what questions you want me to include in this video. So I have the list with me, but uh, with me is uh, Pranav, he's my colleague and I wanted him to join this video because uh, he has also worked in India as a di in digital marketing and now he's working in Dubai for last three years. So Pranav, why don't you tell us about yourself? Hi guys, uh, it's great to be on uh, on this channel, Senator Viran Ads, you know, finally. So yeah, so basically I'm, I, I'm an engineer from India, from Goa, but uh, I changed my career line almost immediately after graduation to digital marketing because engineering was not something for me. And I worked in India for some time and then I made a jump to Dubai. So, so one of my friends just told me, you know, there's scope for your field in Dubai. And I'm like, you know, what? why not? Let's try it. And I actually got through. I applied for a job and I got through and we are working in Dubai now. In fact, the, my current company is in Dubai is my second company. So this is my second job in Dubai and it's going pretty good. So uh, Pranav, when, uh, in your first job in, in India, you were also working in digital marketing. What, what did you do? Did you work for an agency or uh, in house? Yeah, most all of my experience has been in agency. So I have always been uh, uh, doing the task like on hand implementation as well as client communication and servicing. So that's, okay. that's my experience. So uh, it's very important. I ask you here, how did you get your first job in Dubai? Did you come to Dubai on a visit visa or uh, how, how did you get it? Yeah, uh, that, that is a very funny story, actually. So I was casually looking for a job in Dubai. So one of my friends, she told me, when you're looking, when you're applying for a job, if you apply just on LinkedIn, you know, as one of the job sections, it's like you are one of the 200, 300 applicants who are there, you know. So the way you can differentiate yourself is in many cases, there are people who post the job, you know, their names are listed down below. So just as easily you go and you connect with those people and you message them on LinkedIn. So yeah, the job applications are on one side and you are in the inbox of the guy who actually posted the job, you know, so there is a higher chance that he'll look at this, than this entire list. And yeah. I messaged that to just one guy and he told me, okay, you know what, let's schedule a call the next day. We, we sat on a call the very next day for like 45 minutes and my offer letter was in my inbox. It was so as unbelievable as for me, for my friends and you know, whoever knew that I was applying for a job. Okay, three people actually asked me the same question. We have a separate section where we'll discuss about this in detail, but it's very interesting to sure. know. I also have, uh, guys, uh, we have some interesting questions towards the end, like uh, what are the expected salaries? Because a lot of people messaged me that one of the guys literally in the morning messaged me that he got a job in Dubai, what salary he, he should ask. So I'll give you a pretty good idea about what salary you should expect or ask if you already are in an interview. Uh, because most of the people who are in India or any other country who want to come to Dubai, they don't have any idea how much salary to ask and uh, how much expenses they will uh, have here. So, yeah, uh, th that being said, uh, you know, Prana, even me, uh, I was in India when I got my offer from Dubai and then I came to Dubai. So I never uh, came here to and searched for a job and I still work in the same company. It's been like almost four years now. And yeah. guys, if you want to check the uh, Pranav's experience and uh, everything, I will put his uh, LinkedIn profile uh, link in the description below, because again, there's so much to discuss. I got actually a lot of comments today that how should the resume be? So you can get a pretty good idea from even Pranav's on my uh, LinkedIn that how, how to present because the CV is actually almost the same as you put your LinkedIn profile as. So uh, next question I have for you, Pranav, is uh, uh, what is the best way to come to Dubai uh, to look for a job? I know you touched that already, but uh, just in brief, what will be the best channel? Best channel, I would still and always recommend LinkedIn. Yes, because LinkedIn helps you connect with people in your same field. And even if you're not immediately looking for a job right now, you know, it's, you don't have to in, uh, intensively apply. You, you can just connect with people and be in touch, you know, interact with them on LinkedIn, comment on their posts. So they these people know that, okay, there is somebody who's there in the same field. So when you see, or when you're actually making the jump, when you're ready to move countries, you know, for a job and you approach these people, the approach is a lot friendlier than 
how it would be coming from a stranger you know and plus you get you your connections help you see which companies are doing what the kind of work what are people posting that helps you understand okay it helps you pick which company suits your needs better than just joining a job for the sake of it yeah so that reminds me uh, guys uh, how i got my job is uh, when i was working in india we had a client uh, based in uh, dubai so what happened is we were connected on linkedin and uh, she knew what my job experiences were my boss then he posted on linkedin i need a guy who knows oracle blue sky and uh, certain other things she uh, actually added me uh, tagged me in the comment in that post and my manager then he approached me on linkedin and we had uh, like two rounds of interview and that's how i got my job as well so answering to the same question i would say linkedin is the first channel linkedin is very active here everyone like it's like facebook for professionals here right pranav linkedin people yeah, i would totally agree. linkedin here and i would say yeah. that's the first channel but there are still uh, ways to go about it one is uh, first go to google create a list of advertising agencies in dubai if you are looking to work for an advertising agency create a list go to their uh, pages check jobs or directly put digital marketing executive programmatic analyst in linkedin with location dubai you will get a lot of openings then uh, you can also do on google uh, top 10 15 20 agencies in dubai go to their websites apply there in job section and also add people from uh, our industry and then uh, probably message them if you are aggressively looking for a job or wait for uh, uh, i mean until you see someone posting about a job because a lot of people not only post on uh, their linkedin pages but we see a lot of people actually if they need someone in their team they post it on linkedin we need someone with one to two years experience on facebook so that's the second way uh, to find a job so uh, and a lot of people are confused about um, for example if i get a job offer in dubai while i am in india pakistan or any other country how does the immigration and work permit work so guys uh, the work permit in dubai is super easy uh if you get a job offer from a company they can apply for your work permit or uh, which is also called residence visa and they get it in less than a week they'll send you an email copy of the same you can book a ticket fly down here and that's all you need to enter the country and once you are here they will process the visa and do the stamping on the passport that's no issue at all in this country unlike other countries like germany and uh, other countries so here it's a very forward process or even if some people uh, uh, decide to come on a visit visa here and look for a job it's straight forward as well if you apply for a visit visa you get it in 24 hours you can fly here you have 3 months visit visa 6 months visit visa 1 month you go for interviews uh, companies entertain you if they you you are selected in a company they process your uh, per work permit which doesn't take more than 3 days so that process is really sorted in this country right prana yeah i i totally agree with this okay um uh, now uh, prana the next question i have here is actually multiple people asked it they rephrased it in different uh, with different words so what they want to know is uh, like they have been working on facebook campaigns google campaigns which is the same platforms which we use here uh, they have been uh, they are asking that they work there they just want to know what is expected from you if you come to this country and work in digital marketing field in terms of skills and knowledge yeah skills and knowledge so one of the good things about dubai that i have noticed is that the job is very specific to the requirement if they want you to do social media it's only social media you know because i've personally worked in digital marketing jobs where you are hired as the guy as a ppc executive but you'll be asked to do seo and other things as well here it's not that way if if your job description says so and so you have to work on so and so and yes i would say the same thing like in india usually uh, when someone says digital marketer the first thing that comes into mind is uh, they should know uh, a bit of website uh, back end exactly no html css like me, i i i lead the performance marketing team but i don't understand what seo means i don't know how what is a c panel how does it work so that's one thing in dubai there is specializations like you need to be good at something whether it's ppc social media marketing if you just know google ads in and out you will get 
in a good company you will even become a ppc manager even though you don't know anything else there are in agencies you can be a ppc manager I totally agree. director uh, ppc or uh, whatever they they wish to call it so you need to be yeah. good at something however whether it's social media marketing whether it's google ads or whether it's programmatic you need to understand gtm and google analytics right i totally agreed like because no matter how much your marketing online marketing efforts that you do if you cannot track and analyze the data it's no point and this is this this analytics and tracking part is the one common part on this end across all the channels that you choose whether it's social media whether it's seo whether it's paid media email marketing the tracking and analysis part stays the same because this is what decide how effective each of your channels and your methods have been you know so yeah. as you said google analytics and google tag manager two things all the people, everybody in this field no matter needs whether you to know and very well ppc yeah, social media I, I totally you need agree. to know analytics and gta and we work with a range of clients here prana you have worked with a range of clients me as well you know how much focused exactly. people are towards uh, tracking so i would say uh, google analytics and google tag manager is very important be super specialized in one thing ppc or social media marketing just linkedin maybe there's a lot of big clients who just have b2b and they there's like for example uh, even in our company we have a team of six people just for one b2b client so if you just know linkedin you will do you will you will uh, do good there but i would say be master of something specialized in something but at the same time know what's going on in other uh, fields around digital marketing exactly. and be jack of everything master of one and uh, somebody exactly <laughs> so uh the next question i have is uh, prana a lot of people have asked whether they some people are already working in seo some people want to know uh whether they should start their career in seo or paid media what would you say this this is a very interesting question and the answer to this question seo is a very slow process which which of course has fruitful returns in the future yeah. but currently when you do seo it's a very slow process it's a very meticulous process so if if personally you have the patience to do it that way seo is good but for a person like me and i would say for most of my clients also i would always recommend paid media solely because you see returns much 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 faster and you can optimize in a lot of different ways and there are many options that's about how, how do you want to see impact of your work how about opportunities and salaries with the current demand of paid media i am i'm, I'm 100% sure that paid media uh, managers or paid the people who work in the paid media field get paid more than seo and although then, i i am not i'm not in a very good position to say this but looking at the way the trend is going on like based on my experience and what i see on linkedin it's more people talking about ad tech and different uh, changes happening on the ad platforms as compared to google seo updates you can clearly see what is in more demand for and it's paid media guys i am a very honest person so i would say from my experience if you are starting a career uh, uh, i would say go for uh, paid media because there are a lot more jobs available in paid media than um, there are in seo and in terms of salary as well from what i have seen is a uh, paid media executive uh, gets more salary than an seo executive however there are certain companies who specialize in seo if you are really good at it you probably will be above average uh, salary level of a paid media uh, person who is on the same level but you have to be really good at it but generally if you are someone who wants to start a career uh, probably choose uh, paid media two people have asked me uh, how do i get programmatic jobs in dubai and i some one of them he already is working in uh, he said as a programmatic analyst one of them is saying he wants to start he has worked for two years on facebook and google ads guys if you are looking advertiser side opportunities i'll answer this question if you are looking advertiser side programmatic jobs programmatic jobs means you know how to set up campaigns on dv360 efficiently and generate results if you know dv360 that's all that's all is expected from you you will get easily a programmatic trader job or even if you have some experience as well you probably will become a team lead as well but when someone says jobs in programmatic advertising on advertiser side whether it's agency or client you need to know dv360 and or dcm
which is uh, Campaign Manager 360 now. If you know this, that's all. Now, uh, you, you might have worked on uh, Trade Desk or uh, Tube Mobile. It's the same thing. It's like you drive a Maruti, you can drive uh, a Chevrolet as well. But you need to know one DSP. Now, most of the clients use uh, double click stack. So I would say DV360 and Campaign Manager. I have a playlist of DV360 on my channel. Feel free to go through it. You will know from scratch to advanced about uh, DV360. And uh, if you are, you want to work on, if you want to work on programmatic advertising on publisher side, you need to know Ad Manager, which was called DFP before Ad Ad Exchange. I think they have merged it now in Ad Manager now. But there are not much opportunities here on publishing side and programmatic advertising because there's not many publishing houses. Maybe two or three big publishing houses. They 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 own all the uh, publishing companies and websites uh, here. So not many opportunities. And uh, Okay, the next question is uh, how to stand out. So, uh, Prana, while you are working here or you have been working, uh, somebody has worked in India, how, how, how do they stand out? Uh, because so many people are coming into digital marketing, it's booming now. Maybe in some years there'll be a saturation. So, how do, or even if you are working here or you want to come here, how do you stand out generally in your digital marketing career? I think you. Uh, you can easily answer this because in last four years you have progressively uh, like uh, grown a lot. I honestly I appreciate your skills. Not because we are on a video. Uh, that's my honest opinions. I mean, you have some uh, skills and the urge to learn always, try new things. So, what is your answer to this? Thank you so much, Ray. So, my answer to this is uh, no matter what company you join or where it is, whether it's in India or whether it's in Dubai. You join the team and you see at what level everybody is there. Like if you join the paid media team, you know, paid media has Google ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, programmatic, Snapchat, Twitter. There are so many platforms. And there is always that one platform or that one tool that nobody yet has explored. Maybe you know a little bit of it. Maybe you don't know any of it, you know. But if you choose to master yourself in that one skill that is missing out in the entire team, you grow to be the critical part of the team. You know, it could be anything. Like yeah. ev ev even, even, even if you, it could be as simple as like, for example, in Dubai, if everybody in your team is, uh, is an English speaker, you know, and there's only one Arabic speaker, you know, yeah. you can put in the time to learn Arabic and that makes you stand out from the rest of the team. You know, you just need to be different and at the same time, try to contribute to productive and effective work. Okay, that's how you stand out. I guess. My answer to this would be uh, a bit because I, I, I wanted to uh, cover the same thing. Now you already mentioned it. So I would say uh, now, guys, uh, no matter how technical, uh, non-technical digital marketing is, what platform you are working, uh, what happens is digital marketing at the end of the day is marketing. I would say what makes you different because I see a lot of people who work on different platforms. They know in and out of Google ads, everything but they lack the basic concept of marketing. To be a digital marketer, you first need to understand the fundamentals of marketing. So I would say probably read some books or uh, some courses, but you need to be, you need to have a strong fundamental understanding of what marketing is actually. That will make you a better digital marketer or performance marketer or, uh, yeah, so that's, that's my tip. I would say, uh, in order to excel in your career, I'll just give you an example. Like my, my, my wife's friend, she went for an interview and I asked her, uh, how did it go? She has an experience of like one and a half years. She's really good at Google ads, YouTube ads. And she told me that in the interview, they asked her, uh, what is the, what is the, uh, disadvantages of digital marketing over traditional marketing? She said, because it's expensive. She's really good at Google ads, but the problem is she said it's expensive. She just literally said the opposite because she didn't have the basic understanding, you know? So this is very important. No matter how she good was, the next person will be like, it, it, it's a turn off. Okay. Thanks, the last sir. question is Prana, a lot of people are asking about uh, what are the expected salaries? So, uh, it's not based on uh, Glassdoor reviews or LinkedIn. Prana and me, we actually discussed about it. So it's based on our experience, the people we know, the people we hire, uh, and we know what salary they are getting before we hire them. So based on that, I would say if you get into an internship in Dubai, it depends whether you are you get it on a client side or an agency. 
Uh, so I have known some companies who provide like one to three thousand dirhams. You need to convert that in rupees or your home currency. Uh, but then there are agencies, uh, multinational agencies, uh, for interns they pay like five thousand dirhams around there. And then uh, when we talk about entry level jobs, digital marketing executive, somebody who has done a course and some proven experience, or who could prove in the interview that they know Google ads, Facebook ads. they would probably get uh, starting from uh, 5000 dirhams in certain companies but in agencies it can go up to 10000 dirhams as well based on your experience language how you can handle the client and if you exactly. have worked for few years like two years from now correct me if i'm wrong is this the correct yeah. rate i'm saying okay yeah i i totally agree if you have worked in uh, one or two years you have a strong uh, hold on uh, all the platforms and uh, in india you have been working in india pakistan or any other country you should expect somewhere between uh, 7000 to 15000 dirhams right prana i tot- i totally agree i totally agree and one thing is i would mention for the people who are moving from india to dubai you know it it might seem like dubai so living in dubai for two years this is something that i've realized is Dubai is a place that if you want to spend your money there are things for you to spend your money on you know but you just need to restrict yourself control your emotions for the first one and two years that you put your basic needs first your career first rest assured 3 years 4 years down the line you will have enough money to do everything and anything you wanted to do in the last 3 years so I- even if it is starting at 3000 i would still say take it because a year down the line from 3 it can go up to 10 and even more than 10 if you show the qualities that yeah so guys who get an offer in dubai and are skeptical whether i should move out it's so what i have observed in dubai is i know people whose salary got uh, like if they started on let's say 1000 dirhams in 2 years they in the same company they started getting 3500 dirhams more than three times i i know people i know people so it's all about how uh, you are able to sell your skill later how you are able to adapt because no matter how much experience you have in india when you come to this market it's a bit different you need to understand few things which you understand within time but uh, yes go for it like even if uh, you are able to sustain yourself here i would say go for it and there's no rules in dubai you can change your company if you get another offer any time you want even within the first 6 months of probation you can resign on the same day and leave that's that's one good thing here so yeah if you're confident about yourself i would say come here and then talking about salaries if you are looking at job or you have experience in programmatic the basic salary uh, starts from a bit higher maybe from 12000 dirhams and above in some companies maybe it can be eight as well i'm just taking about averages so it will be somewhere around uh, if you have two years of experience it will be somewhere around 12 to 15 or it can be higher as well but i'm just talking about the averages and then uh, probably uh, then if you are a manager you should expect 20 to 25 associate director 25 to 30 but these are averages they can vary a lot based on the company and others and then uh, one more thing guys i just received a question which is uh, i'm applying a lot of jobs on linkedin i'm not getting a response the answer is there are a lot of answers the first answer is based on what i observed is you need to work on your cv and uh, your linkedin profile now you can get ideas from visit pranav's profile my profile or other people working in dubai who are working in good companies to understand how to create your uh, linkedin profile or uh, your cv it's a very broad topic probably will come up with another video how to work on a cv for digital marketers but i would say the only first trick you have to remember is if you don't know go to google search for ats because most of the companies work it uh, work on ats platforms here which means that the robots pick up keywords from your resume so your resume has to be ats friendly probably will come up with a video on detailed how a digital marketers uh, cv should look like and uh, that's it for this video thank you so much pranav it was a pleasure by the way pranav and me we work for the same company but he's stuck in india now due to the flight ban yeah, so <laughs> probably he'll be here soon yeah this always is always in the company has been very kind to me in the last 3 months <laughs> allowing me to work from here which has been a very different experience 
so far but is uh, hopefully i'll be back by next month now that they have opened the flights for vaccinated people yeah and so, i forgot yeah. there was one more question uh, do people hire uh, people uh, based in india now you get hired you have to come here if the company offers you a job you work for a while some companies will allow you to go back to india and work from home for a while but i don't know many companies who um, hire you from india and let you work from there uh, from the beginning yeah there are instances if you are good at what you do anything is possible <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> i, I would agree, work I from uh, moon yeah it's, yeah it's and, and i think always you should ask you should make one more video about how to nail digital marketing interviews yeah yeah, yeah. and I'm, i'm pretty doing, sure i'm actually doing i have some videos on my channel but they are more technical but i'll probably uh, come up with something overall and resume i think yeah it's very important i'll come up with because i, well, I was i got some requests on linkedin saying i'm applying jobs nobody is responding their linkedin wasn't good at all so probably i'll uh, create a video on that and uh, i miss goa man uh, pranav i whenever i yeah, talk you, to you you're but, welcome any time i wish you're it was the day so that we can show around uh, your amazing bar. yeah i i would i would definitely show it around yeah maybe in the, in the dark, maybe, i don't think maybe in the resume yeah, yeah. guys thank you that was it i will see you in the next one thank you always thank you so much for having me see you